Hello, hello, hello. This is Tom from Tom and Ruth Philippine Adventures. Uh, today I want to talk about online jobs. M many people ask me about online jobs. Uh, and uh, if there's something that they could do when they come over here and they retire here, or the wife can do or the wife can do now, uh, living here in the Philippines. And there are some things that you can actually work here in the Philippines. These are actually companies that are based here. Uh, some are not. Uh, these it just gives you some ideas. Now I'm going to do kind of like this. Is probably going to be an ongoing 10-part series because jobs, you know, they they come and go. Now what I did was <clears throat> there's two ways you can go about this. If you are a uh, <clears throat> you want to actually make money, two ways you can do it. You can actually work for somebody, right? You just need extra money, or you can start your own business. Now of course, as you know, if you're married to Filipina. Uh, the Filipina has to own the business and you have to pay the taxes and you have to do everything like that. You have to get your BIR license. Uh, there's actually five things that you need to do. You have to, what they call a, you need to get um, uh, the, it's actually called a department trade industry. You got to get a clearance from them if you're going to actually open up a business here. You need a barangay clearance on where you live. A mayor's permit for the city hall. Of course, a tax ID number, which is get you can get that through the BIR, um, and then of course there's going to be a lot of special permits depending on what you want to do. Uh, of course, Social Security registration, and then you have to do Philly Health. Now, there are companies here that actually uh, actually help you get started in business. There's corporation companies that is or you could actually talk to an attorney, and there are actually companies that. Uh, up in Manila, they specialize in helping you get it situated really fast and open up a business. Now, if you're going to do a business here, the smartest thing to do is hire an attorney. Uh, have him do all the paperwork to make sure you're uh, free and clear of anything. Uh, pay your taxes, pay your dues if you have employees. But, uh, and I'm talking about sorry, sorry stores. I'm talking about uh, selling beauty products online. Now, here's some ideas that what you can do here to make money. They have uh, what they call used clothing, which is UK, UK. I call them OK, OK stores. And they actually, you can actually buy uh, used clothing from India, uh, Pakistan, USA, and, and sell it. They sell it in Davo, Cebu. You can buy it by the bundles, and you bring it in, and you put up a vendor table. But you need to get your licensing and things like that, and uh, do it legitimate, pay your taxes. Now, they'll sell it to you. you buy the bundle. You pay a, a vendor fee for wherever you're, you live, and put it up, and you sell it. You sell it for 50 pesos, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, depending on what it is. Some of them are brand new clothes, some are not. Then you also have what they call uh, thing, uh, uh, a lot of people are doing is, uh, of course, the vendor business, food, things like that. But you need the FDA license. So you need a health department license with that. But the, really with the quickest and easiest way, hire an attorney. Uh, a lot of times City Hall can help you with all the documents also. They'll tell you you need five pieces of documentation. You, know, you need your DTI, your barangay clearance, your tax ID, your Social Security. Uh, and then there's all, also other permits involved depending on what you want to do. But here is another way you can go about it. Instead of owning a business and doing anything like that, why don't you just do it online? Why don't you just work for a company? There are many companies out there that actually are looking for English teachers. Uh, years, uh, you can actually apply online. You can get, become an English teacher really fast. You have to have a high school diploma. There's criteria you have to meet. A little test you have to take because you're just not going to let anybody teach it. And you're teaching people from Korea, China, uh, even even some in, in countries like Brazil, France. And what they're doing is they're hiring the teachers and they pay you. Uh, uh, you sign on at their time, maybe 11 at night, 1 in the morning, 3 in the morning. I was going to do it, then I realized I don't want to be up at 11, 12, 1 in the morning, and it's okay, you know. I, I was just going to do it for something to do, because a lot of uh, friends of mine have done it. They don't do it. One still does it. And he makes pretty good. He makes uh, about anywhere from uh, 300 U.S., depending on the time, to 500 U.S. a week. Uh, it depends, of course, how long you're online, how much you teach. They set the course. Sometimes you have five or six students. Sometimes you have 10 or 20 students. And it's done all online. So you need to have good internet service. Number one, internet, which I do not have. So that knocked me out of the league right there. No internet. It takes me anywhere from three to five hours to download a video. Go figure. It takes me all day to, two, to do one or two videos plus answer to the comments. 
but it's okay. It gives me something to do. Uh, there's actually many things that you can do here. Okay, online jobs, online jobs. So what you want to do, if you want to go online, you want to make a, uh, ha get hired like for someone like uh, to, to work, there's a site called PH Jora, J-O-R-A, I'll put this in all the description, .com. And what they do is they actually, uh, there's, there's, of course, you know how the internet is. There's 30 jobs listed, up to 40,000 jobs listed, and such things as making, uh, being an English tutor, uh, office and administration work, which you actually call, you actually get a phone, phone line, they, uh, a cell phone or a line, really a landline, they put a landline in your house, and you actually work from your house. You can actually do SEO work, uh, internet work. You can actually do what they call, uh, answer phone calls from AT&T. That's phone calls from Dish Network, where people calling and complaining about their Dish Network not working in the United States of America, and uh, Dish is uh, hiring some employees for that right now online. And what you do, you fill out an application, you send it in. Uh, I noticed it said two opportunities left this morning when I looked at it. I don't know if there's any left now, but another place you can ask those onlinejobs.ph, and there is uh, full of part-time jobs there. They have data entry. Amazon is looking. A Hong Kong company right now is looking. They're actually selling online uh, with uh, items that they're selling. Of course, now it's time of the year. You want a job, now it's time to get it because Christmas is here. They want somebody to do some data entry. They want somebody to actually do their inventory and help keep their inventory up to the level. And you can all do it from here because everything's computerized, as you know. Um, uh, I did Amazon when I was in USA, one of the sidelines of the many uh, five, four, five, six jobs that I had. I forgot about that one the other day when I listed that one. When I was telling all you guys that I had jobs, that was another job I had. I sold Amazon. And what it was, I got to tell you, what it was, I was in Walmart a lot of times because of my job. And there would be items that they're selling, they're deleting off. It could be uh, cars, matchbook cars. It could be uh, just items. I don't know if you guys remember the starlight, showers, laser showers, things like that. Those things are going crazy. And they were clearing them out, and I could buy them for a little nothing. And I put them on Amazon, buy them for ten dollars, and I'd sell them from Amazon for eighty dollars, ninety dollars, and I, that's I made money in U.S. That's what I did. So I ended up honestly taking up most of my time. I made good money doing it. That's what helped uh, add my savings. But there are many, many uh, jobs online. If you just take these two companies right here, you can actually probably make a. Uh, put some application is do pretty good. Now they'll accept Filipino, Filipina, you speak English, you can easily teach a tutor and uh, help people and it's really a lot of Chinese companies. I dealt a lot with Chinese in my past because I bought a lot of items from China, been buying items from China for the last 20-30 years, uh, is working with uh, some major chains, uh, retail chains, so uh, I've had experience, I cannot speak Chinese but I know people it can and do and I had them at my uh, side when I needed that and I've made trips to China uh, but it, it, at the end of the day they're looking for someone to help them learn English and it's very important in their jobs very important in their jobs they learn English so uh, what probably one of the best jobs you could do online is English tutor and it seems to pay the most that I can see now some of this pay varies of course depending on what you want to do they even had one in there as a secretary for a major company that all she did was answer the phones from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. So, uh, and that person, whoever it is here in the Philippines, just had to be up there in that time and answer the cell. I'm sure they forwarded their calls to you on, on that and you just answered it in the company name, took down any messages, any problems and things like that, and you portrayed that you were at the company working. So uh, there are opportunities out there. Someone wanted to do it. Uh, some great opportunity for Filipino. They want to make some money extra online. You can do that. So another thing too, I forgot to mention earlier. If you're going to open up a business and you want to sell stuff online, there's many opportunities you can do that. You can actually buy from a place called AliExpress. I'll put that in there. AliExpress.com. I've been buying from them for years. Alibaba.com, which Alibaba owns multiple, multiple companies. They actually own Lazada now. 
they own uh, AliExpress, they own many companies. So uh, that gentleman that owns that company has done a really good job. And uh, you can actually, what you do, you buy closeout items, you may want to stock them because they're not going to be there very long. Spend a little money, put them online and sell them. How do you put them online? Well, you need either Facebook or Marketplace, uh, do it on Marketplace. Uh, of course, make sure you get all your permits and all your licensing and things like that to do that. Some of the ladies actually buy clothes from Korea and they sell them online. Sweaters, shirts, shorts, and they make a fortune. Some of the girls do that. I don't know many girls here in, uh, here in town that do that. Been doing it for years. And you can actually buy from AliExpress. And they'll ship you one piece. They'll ship you five pieces. Used to, back in the day, they wouldn't ship you no less if you a hundred pieces. But now they'll ship, they realize that the ones is enthusiasts where they make their money. It's very smart. And I said that to some Chinese companies. Don't, don't be uh, so itched in uh, selling uh, 100, 500 cars. Sell one car at a time, you'll make more money in the long run. So, if you think about it, the smartest thing, if, if, if you want to make money, AliExpress, Alibaba, you can actually buy some great deals on Lazada.com uh, and buy the closeout items or flash deals and you get them at a good price and you can sell them and don't limit yourself to just selling them here you can sell them anywhere in the world you can sell them on eBay you can sell them on Amazon just get you an Amazon account which is the process of doing that but it's okay you know I have eBay I have Amazon I used to sell on I don't sell on anything anymore but you can actually sell and make make a make a good living some of the guys actually take from eBay and sell on Amazon and some sell from Amazon on eBay and they make a living doing that too I have a friend uh, and actually that I did that also back years ago I was the one of the very first ones started doing that and uh, it uh, was a smart thing at the time now it, the criteria is very strong you need to make sure the items are available not out of stock that way you don't have to stock an item. So it's all about thinking about what you want to do. So uh, hopefully I helped out. Another great company is going on Shopee.com. S-H-O-P-E-E.com. You can actually take items there, buy them, and resell them. Now, here in the Philippines, everybody knows who Shopee is. Everybody knows who uh, Lazada is. But they don't all know who AliExpress is, and they don't know who Alibaba is. Alibaba, since owns all these companies now, has opened its windows now. You can actually buy items one or two and, and buy them and resell them. But in the case, you want to be smart about it. So you, have to be, you may have to invest. If it's something that you want to do, invest in something, something that you think that you can sell. Uh, and be careful with that too because thinking and selling is a different story. So you might test your waters on something that is simple like flashlights that cost uh, 50 peso or 20 peso and sell them for 100 or 150 or 200 peso. Uh, if it was me, I always double your money. If it costs you 50, you sell it for 100 or better. I always sell it for better and offer, uh, they pay shipping. Or if you pay shipping, you add, make sure you add the shipping accordingly. So say ch shipping charges may apply and charge whatever. But uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this is probably going to be an ongoing video, as I say. I appreciate everybody watching my channel, and thank you very much.